Yay! Luminar Neo 1.9.0 is now available and we finally have a fully functioning undo and redo feature. I'll show you how it works and a few of the other minor changes in this update. Hi, I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor and if you want to learn all about photo editing, you're in the right place. So let's take a look at the latest update to Luminar Neo version 1.9.0. When you open Luminar Neo and there's an update available, you should get a notice that looks something like this. If you don't, or if you've already bypassed it and you want to get to the update, you can find that in the menu. If you're using a Mac like I am, just click on the Luminar Neo pull down menu and you'll find check for updates there. Likewise, you can also click on the logo and see check for updates there as well. If you're on Windows, just click on the logo and then help and you'll find it under that menu. From there, just follow the directions to download and install the new version. So let's take a look at how the undo redo feature works. I'm just going to do a couple of quick edits. I'm going to do a develop raw, adjusting the smart contrast and the highlights, and maybe I'll increase the warmth a little bit. So I've adjusted two or three sliders here. If you use the keyboard shortcut, command or control Z, you'll undo the last step. In this case, tint. Watch as I press command Z. You see that? Next one, temperature. So as you continue doing command or control Z or Z, if you're American, you'll be going back further one step each time. So if I keep doing undo, I'll get back to where I started. So let me just add these again. I'll just do a couple of additions and let's try another tool. I'm going to do Accent AI and Sky Enhancer in this case because it does a really nice job on this image. Now let's see what happens if I close the tool and go over here. You'll notice that we've got the Enhance AI edits and below that Develop Raw. So if I do Undo, once, it moves a slider, twice, three times. Now if I do it one more time, it's going to completely remove this slider, but watch what else happens. It took the tool out as well. So that's actually a really nice feature. If that tool's not being used anymore, it deletes it from the edits. If you want to get the edits back again, all you need to do is also include shift in your keyboard shortcuts. So command control shift and then Z or Z. You'll notice that doing that once brings back the tool. If I continue, I'll get back where I left off. You can also, of course, find undo and redo here in the edit menu. So if you can't remember the keyboard shortcuts, you can always revert to the menu here. These images you see here were all taken in Madeira, Portugal last week. I was actually hanging out with the Skylum team and a few of their partners. Here you can see we're photographing this iconic location on the island of Madeira. This is Pete Van den Eyn. So I wanted to show you another little trick with undo because I wanted to test it a little farther. So I'm going to do another couple of edits on a different image. Let's do again smart contrast and maybe give it a little bit of black just to deepen the intensity, something like that. So I've done a few edits. Let me do Enhance and Sky Enhancer as well. Now I wanna copy these edits to another image. So I'm gonna go back to the catalog, right click, copy the adjustments, and then paste it onto the next one. So what I'm testing here is if I do undo, is it going to apply here or is it going to uncopy the edits? Let's find out. So undo, doesn't let me undo. Okay, so copy and paste does not allow for undo. If I go back to this image, Let's see what happens here. 
Now I can't undo as well. So it seems like when you go from one image to the next, undo ceases to function. So if you're going to do any undo or redo, make sure you've done all the changes you want before you move to the next image. Likewise, I also tested it on an image that I edited before I did the update. So if I try undo on here, I get the same little error beep telling me that it's not going to work. And if I look at the menu, it's grayed out. So only edits made after this update will be affected by undo and only edits on one individual image before you move to the next one. This is another image from Madeira and here we actually see some people that you might know. This is Juliana, she's the CMO for Skylam. This is Manny Ortiz, he's got a popular YouTube channel. And these two fellows are Ruben who has a Spanish channel and Peter who runs NikonRumors.com. This is one of the locations that we all visited together to photograph and I'm very grateful for Skylam for inviting me to this event and allowing me to participate in meetings with their team. It was a great week. One of the benefits of meeting with the team was that I have some inside information on what's coming up. I can't tell you about it, but I can tell you that I did know Undo was coming. It just gives me and you an inside track directly to Skylam. So anytime there's something new or feature requests that you have, send them to me and I can pass them along to the team. The other thing that's important to note in this update is that you can now sync your assets if you are a Luminar X member or if you've purchased anything in the marketplace. To do that, just click on the extras puzzle piece and the catalog module. And now you'll see besides the extensions being here, you can also see Marketplace and X Membership. Under Marketplace, anything that you have purchased will show up here and you can download it directly. You can also look for new assets such as presets, skies, LUTs, and so on. I found one here from Albert Dross with indigo hues, which might look nice on my images from the beach with the big boulders. So I'm just going to click install and you can see how quick and easy that is. Now, when I go to my presets and I look under purchase, there's indigo hues. So I'm going to find one of the beach images and apply this preset. There's indigo hues under the set of purchase presets and let's see what they look like. I've already done some editing on this image so I may not want to overwrite it, but let's just see what they do. Some of them look pretty good. This one is nice, and I might choose that one and tone it down a little bit, something like that. Now, of course, if I choose not to use it, I can just do undo. If you are a Luminar X member, make sure that you're signed in with the same login for your Skyland.com account as you are in the software, and you will see it show up here. Previously, you had to download your assets and install them into Luminar Neo, and now you can do that right here inside Neo with one click and sync everything up. It's much simpler and really handy. So overall, this is another really great update. If you'd like to get a copy of my free Luminar Neo keyboard shortcuts cheat sheet, I've updated it to include the new shortcuts for undo and redo. There's a link for that in the description area below for you. As well as undo, redo, and asset sync, there's also some improvements to the develop tool, performance, as well as the masking tools. Likewise, as with every update, there are usually some bug fixes. If you'd like to see the full list of everything available, check the link to the What's New page in the description below. And then remember, if you need to purchase Luminar Neo or upgrade your package, Use my discount code DPM10 to get 10% off when you check out. If you enjoy my teaching style, check out my complete course. And as always, if you want to watch more videos here on YouTube, just click one here now. I'll be back soon with more Luminar Neo and photo editing tips. So until next time, take care.